Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show how to migrate from a vSphere standard switch to a vSphere distributed switch. So as you can see in this environment, I have this cluster with two ESXi hosts. Both of these hosts have a standard switch configured at this time. Each of the standard switch has number of port groups configured and both hosts have two uplinks. So let me just go to the second host to show you. So here, this host again has a standard switch and two physical adapters as the uplinks and number of uh, uh, port groups uh, for vMotion, the VM kernel port is configured for the virtual machine networking. And here is number of virtual machines attached here. And also for the management network, another VM kernel port is configured here. Uh, next, have a look at uh, the distributor switch that I have already created. So go to the networking tab here. So this is the distributor switch, uh, which is created for the DC1 data center one. To create a distributor switch again, it is very simple. Just select the data center and go to the actions menu. And here you can select uh, distributor switch as the new distributor switch to create. So the Virtual Distributed Switch 51 is created for migration. So let's have a quick look here. So here is a topology. At this time, no hosts are connected to this distributed switch. That's why you can see there are no uplinks here. And here is again the number of board groups uh, that are configured and available on this uh, distributed switch. So to begin the migration, select the distributed switch, go to Actions and select add and manage hosts. So this will uh, basically start the wizard where we will be migrating uh, the physical adapters, uh, the VM kernel port groups, as well as the virtual machines to the distributed switch. So just follow the wizard as I go along. So I've selected migrate the virtual machine networking because uh, during this uh, process, when I migrate or move my physical adapters into the uplink port group, the virtual machines, if they are still connected to the standard switch will lose network connectivity. So to avoid that issue, I'm migrating the physical adapters, the VM kernel adapters, as well as a virtual machine networking all at the same time into the distributed switch. So go next. So here assigning a uplink for the physical adapters from host one and host two. So in this step, going to migrate the VM kernel port. So selecting the first VM kernel port and assigning it to a port group. So as I said, I have already pre-configured uh, the distributed port groups with the required VLANs as per my environment. Just pay extra attention and verify all these changes that you're making. Now for the virtual machines, again, the same process is to assign uh, the correct port group as per your environment.
All right, so I'm uh, ready to complete here. I'm going to uh, press finish and uh, the migration from the standard switch uh, to the distributed switch will progress. So once the migration completes, this is how it would look like. Uh, here is the uplinks, as you can see. So now there are physical adapters within the uplinks. And for these port groups, the distributed port groups, there are virtual machines or the VM kernel ports are configured here and they're connected over here. Uh, there, there was one issue that I encountered was, as you can see for this uplink one, there is only one adapter coming in from host one. The second host uh, adapter two was, is not able to migrate because there was a template that is still attached to that network uh, switch, the standard switch. So pay attention to these small details when you are migrating from standard to distributed switch. If you have templates, please make sure that they are not uh, tied to your uh, standard switch. All right, so that uh, concludes the video for today. Thanks for watching.